So for today, we're going to be looking at 801 and what she is offering. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what 801 is offering. So that way you guys are aware of what she's selling because sometimes she sells bangers. So let's just get into it. We're going to be looking at House of Mirren. So I unfortunately don't like this shader and it's because of the yellow. Uh, if the yellow was like a darker red or like a lighter, nah, it would have to be a darker red for me to be actually interested. Then I think the shader would have been really, really cool because it, it is almost a, an Iron Man color because it does have red and gold. But I think the the off color of this like off white is just so bad that I just kind of really can't use it. We have New Pacifica Rush. This is an old shader, a very old shader from Titan which is wild. Definitely pick this up if you're interested to have like old stuff, but uh, color wise, I'm not the biggest fan of it. And then New Monarchy Regalia. I love this shader. This shader is like one of my favorite shaders. This is the Iron Man shader. So if you want to go for an Iron Man look, definitely pick this shader up just because again, red and gold, it's just so good. And then for the armor, it's going to be the, the it's, it's like a world drop. I like this armor, but at the same time, I don't. Hunters, I think the boots are cool. It's just the fact that the bandages on the ankle doesn't change color and it pisses me off. The helmet, I think is pretty cool. And the cloak is mid, I would say. The chest piece is definitely usable and the arms are also definitely usable. So I would say everything but the cloak is really good. For the Titans, let me actually go check real quick because I'm in my head, I know which one it is, but I'm, it's more like Warlocks, the one that I'm not remembering. Even though if I remember correctly, the Titans, everything but the mark is really good. So I actually really like the retrograde for the Titans just because the helmet, you can change colors. And I know that sounds weird, but this helmet is used a lot in other various pieces, specifically the actual I can just show you here right now. So the shelter in place, this is the Vanguard year one armor and then the noble constant armor for just regular like this is the armor we got just for doing the the story if i remember correctly these two helmets do not change color the visor specifically and even then the noble constant's not like a one-to-one -one, it's a completely different visor but it's like the same silhouette i guess but the shelter in place is the one i'm specifically talking about and there is another one if i remember correctly but i just don't re don't know where it at no, it might be just this one. No, no, no. There is definitely another one. Either way, this one actually does change the visor color. So that's why I'm, I say that uh, arms, are th I think, are really, really cool. Chest pieces with the weakest part from all of it and boots, are, I think, are super dope. And the mark, I would just completely ignore uh, for the Warlocks. I think the chest piece is very unique boots. You can use for like regular boots. They're really cool. Arms are boring. Helmets fine. And then the bond is pretty meh. So Overall, I think a lot of pieces are worth a pickup for this armor. But that being said, I knew I know a lot of people already have this because this armor is a world drop and she sells this armor quite a bit. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, definitely pick some of these up. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.